It's the last episode in the Washington Wizards My GM mode. We were doing really well. Right now our team is currently 30 and 17. We've won one in a row, 67 team chem, 100 fan interest, and we're third in the Eastern Conference and second in the Southeast Division. So our team is just doing great right now, right before the All-Star break. <coughs> We're only trailing the Heat in our conference, and we're only five and a half games back. The Heat are a decent team. I think we can overtake them for first place. They've got a 69 overall center starting. We should be able to, by the end of the year at least. And conference-wise, we're third, right behind, obviously, Miami and Boston. So Boston, they're comfortable, cushy lead. We were nine games back. The Heat are only three and a half games behind, so... Maybe they might challenge them for first in the East, but I doubt it because the, the Celtics are too good of a team to give up that kind of thing. But anyway, Orlando's right behind us. They're close. We're about the exact same amount of games back. and But they're losing. They've lost two in a row, though. We've, we've won one in a row. And they're 6-4 and four in the last 10. We're 7-3, and three, so we're better. But anyway, Western Conference, Lakers are 29-16, Spurs 29-16. So they're doing all right, but we're third in the NBA, that means. Because we have a better record than the Lakers. So let's check power rankings. We're fifth at NBA.com, seventh in 2Ks, and third in Mark Spears. So Mark Spears likes our team. And he puts Miami at first. Damn. That's crazy. GM power rankings, I'm 10th. Hopefully I get a rise. Hopefully. Unless they, this is right after that trade, which it, it probably is. But anyway, uh, to change anything else, Team Intel. Yeah, that says we won't shake up our roster. We can check out some trades, just to see. See, never know. Uh, what about Jersey Sales? There we go. So Okafor is in 18th, and Moutier is in 20th for Jersey Sales. Andrew Wiggins finally is in here. Took forever for him. But he's finally in here. And Anthony Davis is top of the NBA. First in jersey sales. Then James Harden, surprisingly. Then Kyrie, then Curry, then Durant, then Anthony, Carl Anthony Towns, Ben Simmons. First auto-generated. Or I guess, yeah, I guess you can consider him to be auto-generated. Then John Wall is in 24th. Uh, Got anything else that we need to show? Mock drafts. So the 76ers pick is currently 10th. 10th overall. As us picking Leslie Spencer, hopefully you'll pick him. He's got good. Wait, does he have good potential? I'm pretty sure he's good potential. Yeah, his potential's okay. I don't know. This draft doesn't matter too much to me. We don't have any really po positions that need a rookie, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, what else? Upcoming free agents. Yeah, none of these guys really matter to me too much to me anyway. Most of these guys are on team options anyway, and most of them want to resign too. Except maybe D'Angelo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if he wants to the open market, but he's gonna accept whatever deal he's thrown at thrown at by the Lakers. So he's staying with the Lakers for sure. It'd be a surprise if he would just reject that contract. I know when to resign for extensions. So I guess we should probably go and. Sim up to the All Star break makes sense. So Sim cast is Bucks game, big game. They're twenty nine sixteen, about the same record as us. About Ferguson's day to day crap. Oh, okay. I'll make up to play through them. So that's why his overall is dropped on that one thing on that team intel. I was I was like, what the heck? His overall drop, but it's injury. Come on, we can win against the Bucks. There we go, 105 to 77, blowout. And we're away too. That's good. Bob Ellis Jr., 18 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 block, block city. Moutier, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Oak for 16 points, 10 rebounds, double double, 4 assists, 2 blocks. Stanley Johnson, 15 points. Are you kidding me? He doesn't. I told you to take it easy. Oh, it's day to day. Oh, I thought for sure he got. Wait, I'm confused here. Oh, right, he sprained his knee now. Okay. 
That's why. I'll co channel that one. I thought you wouldn't run. Now Bob's mad. Come on, Bob. We changed the training intensity for you. We can't make it higher than very high. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this game. We lose our starting shooting guard to injury. Then our power forward who keeps complaining about, in about training intensity says, Oh, you broke my practice. We put it very high. Are you, you moron? Come on. We'll increase his mor morale that badge. Because I don't want to hurt this stupid uh, morale thing with the team. So Cedric Mayo is going to be slotting in for Steven Ferguson for a few games. Right when we're about to face one of the best team, actually might be the best team in the NBA behind Boston. Because Boston's one of those teams where you know they're first. Okay, so he's recovered from that sore knee. I'll let Coach handle that one. Now he's still got that sprained right knee though, so he's still out. Two injuries. Let's sim this one though. I'm not going to simcast every one of these games if you're wondering. Just these important ones. Come on, we can win against the Heat. Let's bring the Heat to the Heat. Come on, we can do it. Close game though, 102 to 98. So, for 21 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 blocks, and he took a 3-pointer. Come on. But anyway, Moody had 20 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. Good job. Rudolph Daly, 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 15 minutes, too. Stanley Johnson, 15 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. And Bob Ellis Jr., 9 points, 9 rebounds. And Jason Tatum is the only player who played really well for them. 22 points. Come, everyone has something to complain about. Are you kidding me? Loney Baldwin, he signed you as a free agent for... Okay, good, tough love. It's good when you know how to deal with a player with tough love. The coddlers, they do not want to do anything. They're like, eh, you make me mad. Even though they're a coddler, it doesn't make sense. Denying tough love. There you go. I like when you can do that, because that way it doesn't mess up the entire team morale. I don't know why it would mess up the entire team morale. I'll just send this one. Hopefully we can win this one. It should be easy. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 107-69. Oh, no, no. Okafer's complaining about training. I'm not going to make any promises to Okafer because he's going to flip. Wait, was it very high? Or make it... I'm, I'm confused half the time. Being... Our team in trip... Oh, my God. Come on. Okay, we'll make it very high on your end. Don't know how we can make it even harder for you guys. Guess no rests if you don't want rests. There you go, that's very high. You like that, Bob? You should like it. Because that's what you're living right now. I'll just send this game quickly. Come on, we should be able to win this one. There you go, 92 to 78. Stanley Johnson, 16 points. Oakford, 16 points, 12 rebounds, double-double. Moutier, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists, triple-double. Terrible shooting, though, but who cares? Triple-double. Bob Ellis Jr., 7, 18, <coughs> 11 points, 5 rebounds. Couldn't say anything there. And Chris Stops, 17 points, 10 rebounds, double-double. Only Their only good player. Okay, so Oakford should stop complaining any day now. Hopefully. Better say something about Stephen Ferguson's injury. Oh, no. Trade deadline. We'll continue because trade deadline's right after the All-Star break. I don't know why he's informing me right now. Okay. It's in this box game. Important. Got to win this one at home. We're at home. Come on. Oh, my God. Three-point game. We almost came back. Oak for 19 points, 10 assists, double double. St Stanley Johnson, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Udia, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal. But Boomer Hurley, 30 points. Ross Patrick, 18 points, 9 rebounds. Come on. Come on, we lost the Bucks. The Bucks. What the Buck, hey? Oh my god. Yay, he's finally back. Steven's back. 
back again. Steven's back. Tell your friends. He's still complaining. We just changed it, buddy. Buddy, bud, bud. Come on. Win, 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 win. There we go. 30 point. Caught four. Oh my god. I don't know how we came back. 195. for 24 points, 15 rebounds, 4 assists. Bob Ellis Jr., 21 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist. Steven Ferguson, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Coming off that sprained knee. Boudier, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal. Good job, guys. And Chase Jeter, 8 points, 14 rebounds. That's why we got him. Len Gadsden, 24 points, 12 rebounds, 1 assist. Practically identical stats. But Gadsden, his shooting's terrible. 8 for 26. What is that percentage wise? It's way below 50%. I know that. It's probably 20. Damn. Can't shoot. Butterfingers. Aw, oh, right when we have one player coming off the injury list, another goes back onto it. Stanley Johnson. Right hand fracture, two to four weeks. He wasn't doing anything any anyway, so I really don't care. Can Chase Jeter slot in at at uh, small forward that'd be nice if he could we'll send this game against the Hawks there we go close win now Jeff Teague's complaining Jeff Teague shouldn't even be complaining he doesn't do anything literally he does nothing he plays maybe a minute per game oh my god another one bites the dust one to two weeks sprain left knee this is not the time he should be going down Probably because it's stupid training intensity. Because, oh, oh, there you go. Lonnie Baldwin's finally complaining. But, oh my God, why does Bob Ellis Jr. want it very high? Okafor wants it very high. But when you sit on their player training, they freak out. Oh my, uh, training. All our players keep getting injured. Doesn't make sense at all. This game has some major bugs in it. Like, especially if you try... Say you, I, I remember I fired my assistant coach. Then you go and you f try and find a candidate for them, like, at, because you have a vacant head coaching... I mean, uh, assistant coaching position. But you can't simulate after. Oh, I thought he was complaining. Well, that's nice. I'll talk to Jeff. I'll talk about that issue later. We're talking about Jeff now. He wants to retire. I thought it was him complaining because all I've been hearing is stupid complaining this team. Hey Alex, I've had a great time playing for you in the Wizards and I've decided that it's time for me to retire. Thank him. Or, we could offer him that assistant coach position. Our assistant coach sucks. Sad to hear this, but is there a chance you'd like to stay on as an assistant coach? A coaching job in intrigues me, but I just can't play another year after this one. Okay, so Jeff Teague didn't deny it. He could be your assistant coach next year. Then we'll deal with this problem with Boney Baldwin. He's mad all the time. Doesn't want to be your sixth man for some reason. Why wouldn't you want to be a sixth man on a great team? Doesn't make sense. Make this at a medium. We'll lower the team one too because that's what you got to do. Home, we'll put medium way there some rest restore them back restore the roar no no we're not doing we'll do home low here we go I'm not making any promises because promises kill me in this game I hate it so much so let's send this last game before the the all-star weekend against the Indiana Pacers with the declining Paul George on them we're away let's win this last game before the all-star break Let's go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Win the game. 110 to 95. There we go. Okafor, 25 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Block City. Steven Ferguson, 24 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Boudier, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists, double double. Cedric Mayo, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. Good job, Cedric. And Joffrey L Lauverg. 10 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block. Can't pronounce his name, but he did a good job. Same with the rest of our team. Except Oak for 3 free throws, but that doesn't matter. We won the game. 
And Paul George, 19 points. When is he going to retire? I don't know, he's only 34. I thought he was like 37. But anyway, we're at the All-Star break. So I guess I'll end this episode off right here. So make sure to like, subscribe for more Washington Wizards My GM Mode. And that Cavs GM coming up too. That'll be a... I guess it won't be a challenge. I'll have to try and make some type of challenge to make it challenging. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.